Hey, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a YouTube thumbnail with AI. So what tools we're gonna to use is Midjourney, an upscaling app that I'm gonna show that's completely free, and then Canva as well, which you can use on the free plan as well, which I'm doing. Um, I'm actually gonna make the thumbnail for this video with you right now. So let's actually start that process. So the first thing, the way I think about thumbnails is like, what is that background going to be? Uh, what's the focal point? What are you trying to illustrate on that thumbnail, right? I have like some ideas, but what I like to do is I like to go to Midjourney and just scroll the feed just to get some inspiration. I'm thinking that it will be like maybe like some type of futuristic like art class or something like that, just because it is going to be AI. But this kind of gives me some ideas on like what we could potentially do. Another thing that I would recommend is go to Google and just search in different art styles that you can kind of play with as well. So like something like this, like stunning neon biopunk theme park roller coaster. So maybe we could do something like biopunk, biopunk theme. I like that. So I'm going to take that. Yeah. So this is kind of like the process. I'll just scroll to get some inspiration just on that feed and see if anyone else has come up with some ideas that I can kind of emulate. But for now, I don't really see that much and I don't wanna to waste too much time just scrolling mid journey. So I'm just gonna go into my Discord and start this process. So I'm just gonna do slash imagine and I'm gonna say biopunk theme background vibrant because I do want the, the um, thumbnail to be vibrant and eye catching. So vibrant and eye catching like art class, let me futuristic, see what it comes up with, futuristic art class, high res, yeah. And then I'll do aspect ratio of seven to four, which means that it will be more horizontal. If you want to check out the aspect ratios of mid journey, just Google aspect ratios and you can kind of see the different things. So let's just see what this comes up with and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I kind of like this one here. Like, I'm not a fan of all of them. However, I do like this one. That's because it is very vibrant and I could see myself adding some text right here and maybe like another image here. So let's just use that one as an example. And if anything, we can always come back and modify later. So I'm gonna click on U1, which means upscale that first image in the grid. Um, and then once we have that, what we're going to do is we're just going to open this up in the browser and I'm just gonna download this. And you can see that it's like grainy. So what we're gonna do is upscale that with a free tool. So I'm gonna click on save image as, and I'm gonna save that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to this tool called upscale.media. You can check it out. So upscale media. And what we're gonna do is just click on upload image. And I'm gonna upload that image that we just downloaded. And from there, what this tool is going to do is basically just make that image less grainy and have it a bit higher quality when it comes to just the overall graphic. So this is normal upscaling and then this is AI upscaling to 2x. I kind of like the AI better and you can kind of see the preview of it. So I'm just going to do this one. And you could do enhanced quality, but I think this is a paid feature. Um, we'll see, see the outcome of that one. But for now, what I'm going to do is just click on download image and that should download it. So let's take a look at how that looks. Okay, perfect. So now let's go to Canva and start playing around with this. So let's go to Canva and I'm going to click on YouTube thumbnail, just create a blank one. And from here, what we're going to do, and you can see there's some themes here, but I'm just going to play around with a blank slate and I'm just going to drag in this image here and I'm going to set this image as background so right click and then set that image as background and then from here what we're going to do is we are going to add an AI version of me so what I'm going to do now is go back into discord here and go back into mid journey and I'm just going to find like I already played around with some of these. So I have another video talking about how you can um, swap out your AI generated faces with your own face. So you can definitely check that out. I'm gonna actually just download this one. So I, I kind of like this one. So I'm gonna click on save image. And then from there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to another site. So we're gonna go to remove.bg. And what this site will allow us to do is remove the background of any image. So I'm gonna click on upload the image that I wanna remove the background of. 
and uh, there you go. So now I made it transparent. So I'm gonna click on download. Um, I'm gonna download HD. Oh, that's a paid feature. So let's just download the regular one. Okay, so the regular one should be fine. You could also upscale the regular one as well if you wanted to, but for now, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna keep it simple and just go back into our design. And I'm gonna drag that design into here. And I'm just gonna make this bigger. So just make it like really big. And this one's kind of grainy as well. So I would probably upscale this, but again, for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna keep it very simple. Okay, so now at that point, you can also edit this photo. So you can make it like that, for example, which kind of matches the overall feel of that background. But you can kind of play around with these different uh, preset, these different filters to kind of find one that you like. And if you don't like them, you can kind of just, you know, keep it the way it is. I think that one kind of just blends it in too much. So, so it's a matter of just finding things that work and what pops off the page, you know? So let's see. I'm just going to click on see all and see if we can just quickly find something. Honestly, I don't mind the black and white only because it's like the background is color and then you have this black and white image. It kind of, it kind of like separates it but let's see if there's any one another one that's better than that one for now we'll just keep it like that i think that's fine the eyes were kind of a bit weird but again we'll just keep it like this for now and then i'm gonna add an image here that's just to say uh ai made this from l right and i'm gonna separate it like this and i'm also gonna change the font to grotesque so grotesque I like this one. Let me make sure that they're all grotesque. And then I'm going to make it big. So maybe like 100. Okay. And also I want to select all and then change this line height, line spacing. So that's a little better. See that. All right. I like that. So let's move it here. And then what I'm going to do is just add some effects to this text. So you can make it kind of pop off. A bit more so it's just a matter of playing around with this and maybe add a background yeah I like that I like that so let's see cool maybe something like that and then we could also um, set this text to position back so go to layer and then just send it to one position back which will then allow it to go behind that right and then there you go you have a thumbnail that you can claim as your own just using ai a uh, very quick tutorial but you get the idea you can kind of play around with this and all the settings and get a nice background you know change whatever you want add some glow etc but that is how you're able to quickly create youtube thumbnails using ai and make it a bit personalized to what you're talking about your channel play around with different prompts to get different you know get different outcomes but that's how you do it. If you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe and leave a comment down below. I'd love to know your thoughts about creating a YouTube thumbnails like this one using AI. And if you also want to see awesome tools like the ones that we use today, make sure you go to bestofai.com to browse over 7,000 tools that you can save, tag, and categorize for your AI workflow. That's it for today, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.